We just got back from 15 Cougar Court, and uh, what was that all about? Which is that the residents were fed up with how City Hall works, and Scarborough isn't the, one of their priority on their agenda. Scarborough has been left out for the past years. Uh, we have contacted our current council, Crawford, to come out and look at all the potholes that were that are there at Cougar Court that's been there for the past 10 years. They haven't been patched or even looked at from the city. Even though it's a private owned street, the city should have come down and did, issued a bylaw for the property owner to fix it as soon as possible. It is a safety hazard. We've seen kids tripping over bikes, cars trying to avoid hitting the potholes and waving in waves. and. Everyone gets scared. What if this car hits me? What if this car hits me? It's a really safety concerning thing. There's been garbage on city property for the past seven months that hasn't been removed by the city. V. I have called 311 myself personally. I've called Crawford's office personally. I know residents that have called Crawford's office and 311, but there hasn't been any action according. So today we saw the mayor come out and there are a lot of people. Um, how did the mayor come there today? How did he come to know of this uh, problem? I contacted the mayor's campaign office yesterday and I spoke to them. I told them there's so the residents in Scarborough that have questions for the mayor to answer. And an election is coming up. There's a lot of residents that are still undecided about who to vote for in the coming up election on October 27th. So I asked the mayor if he can come up and actually answer the questions of Scarborough residents and look at what Scarborough residents are going through. And it was nice having the mayor come out and look himself what Scarborough residents are going through. And you actually got a result from uh, him personally in his office. Uh, what did he tell you? He told me that he will be back on Friday at 1 p.m. with the MLS and transport. MLS, what is MLS? MLS is the municipal licensing. They will be back on Friday to check out the property. You will get it fixed as soon as possible. You will pick up the garbage as soon as possible. And it wasn't just uh, an event for the mayor. You invited others. Who else did you invite? I invited five American, all five mayor candidates. I invited David Sugnaki, Karen Stins, Olivia Chow, John Tory, Mayor Ralph Ford. I got a letter back from Karen Stenz, David Suknaki, that they could not attend due to scheduling. I got a call from John Tory, saw a campaign office uh, that he was double booked, so he could not attend, unfortunately. I invited Olivia Chow. And did he call you personally? Yes. Uh, Mr. Tory called yes. you on the phone? Yes. Uh, to say he couldn't come? Yes. Okay. Um, and uh, the last and, uh, candidate? I invited uh, Olivia Chow. But Olivia Chow did tell CP24 that she was not invited, but I did invite, I spoke to Olivia Chow's office at 4 p.m. yesterday, and I did invite her. So somebody from... Olivia Chow's office spoke to me from her event planning group, and she said, she told me that she will be attending. So their office confirmed, and then they're saying something different. And they're saying something different to the media. And that's almost like calling you a liar. Yes, it is. It hurts a lot for a candidate that is running that wants the city citizens' votes at this time and coming up and not saying the truth. It hurts people a lot, not just myself, but the whole community. Um, today, there were a lot of people out uh, at Cougar Court. They're coming out of their buildings to see what all, all the, uh, the fuss was about all the uh, activity and uh, people were surprised to see the mayor. And uh, you are also wanting to make uh, a difference in your neighborhood by running for city council. And how did you decide, why did you decide you wanted to be part of the process at City Hall? I was just thinking about running for city council. Then I was approached by one of the a bunch of citizens in the World Tour in 36 saying that, you know what, Masi, you have done a lot for the past nine years for our community. It's time for you to stand up for us at City Hall and speak out for our voice. We don't have a power at City Hall at the moment. We want someone that ha will have the power to speak up at City Hall. So that is the reason why I went and put in my name. I want change in my community and Ward 36, not only in Ward 36, but all across Toronto. 
I want Toronto to look in a high rank city. Now you say nine years of uh, volunteering. Volunteering. What, what does that entail? What have you been doing? I've uh, volunteered in different community groups. I've dealt with community festivals, Scarborough Village festivals, for the five festivals I've planned. I've uh, done many safety tours. I've worked with uh, many groups. I worked for Tavis, volunteered with Tavis, Toronto Police Task Force that were in our community for a year. I volunteered a lot of my time with the community. And uh, if you are, or rather when you are a counselor, uh, what can people expect? My first priority will be looking at the neighborhood of crime rates. We need more police present in our community. What our current council is doing, cutting all the services that are in our community. It's all about cut, cut, cut. What I'll bring back is Tavis, back to the community. Our fight. What is Tavis? Can you explain that a little Toronto bit? Anti-violence uh, instruction, intervention. They're just there to on foot patrol. They're in the neighborhood talking to residents and just getting the residents to be friendly with the police officer all is just for community safety reasons. They have done a lot of work, they have built basketball courts and all things, they have community barbecues, a lot of different community events they have hosted. Okay, so that's Tavis. Uh, what else can people expect when you're uh, at City Hall? There's one more thing, transit, build new bus routes. There's no bus that goes along Scarborough Golf Club. People have to walk kilometers from their home to get to a bus stop. Why can't they have a bus stop right there? We have many buses that are parked. The city taxpayers have already invested the money in paying for them to be parked. No, we need to get more bus routes closer to residents' homes, closer to seniors' homes, so they don't have to walk kilometers to get to a bus stop. And on top of all that, um, one of my main things is youths. They're the future of this city. They're the future generations. We need them to have a great job. Why are we hiring residents from all of Mississauga to travel to Scarborough for a job? Why can't we get our own Scarborough people f a job first before we bring other people from other areas getting a job in our area? Sec third thing is childcare. Childcare, I want to change the operation of childcare hours from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. If a mom, single mom that wants to work in the West End, she can't get back by 6, she will get charged. She will just have to pay the amount she made that day for all the money she got charged at daycare. So it will be more flexible if childcare hours are extended and parents can actually go work West End or to the East End. Okay. For people who wish to learn a little bit more about you and your campaign, uh, your website? My website is www.masiola.ca. That's M A S I H U L L dot C A. And you're also on Twitter? Yes, I am on Twitter. My Twitter is M M M M Mohibzada. That's M M O H E B Z A D A. And my Facebook is Masiola Mohibzada. It's M A S I H U L L space M-O-H-E-B-Z-A-D-A. -E you can also get in contact with me on my personal phone at 647-764-3464. Okay, Messi, uh, thank you for making a little bit of time for us today. Uh, and we hope that uh, you have a very positive result uh, in October. Thank you, I mean, for interviewing you. Okay.